Oh yeah, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Vinaz and today we have a tour. I have a collection tour for the channel. I'm sitting about 630 since the last time I did. I had 480 last time, I think it was in March of 2021. And since then I did a quite a few unhauls and you know more, more series came into the collection. Uh, my taste is maturing so that number is going to fluctuate in the future as well. Uh, I'm trying to curate a collection, you know, a, a library that that's my personality, some of my interests. Not only manga, so, but uh, yeah, there are a few omnibuses, hardcovers uh, for comics, and some line novels, relatively small, still about you know sixty line novels. But that's about it. You guys are here for the manga, so let's just get in and leave a like and comment down below if you if you if you like this content, and if you have uh, any interest in any of these series, let me know. Okay, the beginning here at the top of the shelf here, the Majestic Mobile Suit Gundam of the Origin, which basically redoes uh, the original series uh, and just adapts it and turns it into manga form. Oh, it's, it's majestic. The paper quality, the action in here. If you're a mecha fan, uh, you'll enjoy that. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be a great one. And then right next to that is gonna be the Soul Eater one through four Square Enix. Uh, ongoing at the moment. Uh, Volume seven just came out. So I need to get more of those. And then there's No Longer Human by Junji Ito, adapted from the story, Osamu Dazai originally. And uh, I'm looking forward to another one, another print, another adaptation that's coming out. Uh, I forgot the author who's doing it. So a 3 one is a reprint. So I'm looking forward to that just to compare and see how two different authors adapted the same story. So that'll be neat, you know. I want to compare and contrast and see who did, it, who did it better or which one is better, preferably. And then in here, and then next to that is uh, Bride Story 1, I went through 8, 9, 10, 11, up to about volume 12 here. And uh, Taro Mauro's art is just is so majestic and great. Uh, and, and look at the, look at the detail on that paint stick. I, I just love the detail that she puts in. She puts all of her soul into her characters. And then the story is a historical fiction depicting you know, an earlier time uh, and kind of some of these ladies and uh, their perspective on marriage, so a variety of brides here, so that's bride story. And here is Full Metal Alchemist, uh, the perfect editions. The boy Alphonse is representing at the moment, I usually switch to it around. Uh, two more volumes, uh, one more volume before we have it complete. Oh, I'm gonna be happy when I, when I get that one. Your boy Urusawa, you know, knocks it out of the park with this one, 20th Century Boys. A one of the rule 11 complete and then that's the 20th century for kind of the epilogue and as you can see I'm over here now I gotta finish this I don't know why I'm why I'm procrastinating next to that is you know it you know it these are hard hitters you know uh, as you can tell we got the blade of the immortal you gotta have this you gotta have this the characters each character on the page this is it this is art right here Woo. I'm happy this is also back in stock by the way so for people don't 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 pay more than Necessary price, and then at the same time, I, 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 I doubled. I, the man, the legend, Takiko Inoue. You see that? You see that? That, that, that's, that speaks for itself. And uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for the man that is actually continuing real. I honestly, I don't care if this never ever gets completed. This is it. If this is all we're getting. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this. This is a story about a somebody like Musashi Muyoru's life story. And uh, you know, it's, it's good. We don't. I'm good. I'm happy. I, I, I love this. This is great. <laughs> So that's 1 through 12 of the Vizbix complete, uh, well there is a volume 37 I think. Uh, or incomplete or complete or on uh, uh, ultimate hiatus. Okay so for more Urusawa here, uh, Pluto 1 through 8, this is complete and this is also a complete monster 1 through 9. And these uh, omnibuses, I love these omnibuses. I actually prefer this over the 20th century boys because this design uh, is more appealing for me. I love the story here, this is actually short and sweet if you want to know why Orosawa is praised here, here, you know, this is a good good one, good way. This is due for a reread. Uh, this, this is this is timeless. This is great. In the greats, top ten, top tier manga. Same thing here. Um, man. Both of them, psychological thriller, uh, thriller it's crazy. It will, 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 it will uh, by the time you're done, you can be like, what the hell did I just read? With this one and even this. And and, and some of the fake characters. Look at these, look at these facial characters for Orosawa. I just, I just love them, man. So, and then we have records of Ragnarok here, one and two, uh, kind of just going on at the moment. Uh, trying to get into that. Okay, this shelf here has a few things going for itself. Uh, that corner over there is, um, you know, 
King use used books one through four. It's complete. Uh, it's an it's, a, it's an anthology, uh, kind of like short stories about used bookstores and series of other stories. Kind of read the first two. Kind of got deals from the library. And then over here is Land of the Lustrous one through thirteen. I always read about this. Uh, ongoing at the moment. And then another Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. This one is uh, similar in scope, but it's oh man. Another beast. Another beast. I'm always going to rave about this one. And then down here is a comedy, a, planner, uh, a palette cleanser. Hina and the crew here, she comes down. All the characters, they, they just, you know, I'm kind of behind on the picking them up up to 1 through, volume, well, one through 15. Uh, if you want to try this, just, just, just give the anime a try. The first season kind of gives you a good introduction. Right next to that is Kaiju number 8. Oh man, this is my new favorite at the moment of what's coming out. Uh, I read that, okay, 1 and 2, and then I had to read it on the app. So that tells you how good it is. And then we have Sakamoto Days. I don't know why 2 is upside down. 1 and 2. I haven't given it a try yet. Chainsaw. Man. I just finished that recently. I'm still uh, just churning it in my mind. Trying to trying to uh, decode and see what, what the hell happened here. Like volume 9 and 10 and 11 just gave me a, an upper hook out of nowhere. And I was like, what is going on? Lord have mercy. So I want to reread it again. So that I can do a proper review. Do I say, do I even have to say something? Do I have to say something? Look at that right there, right there. That's all you need to know. One punch, man. So one to the 23 over there. And then there's Undead Unlock. That is actually not mine. That belongs to at least there. Uh, and then we have a Mob Cycle, one through eight. And then the Regan, these are coming out slower than hell. And then is Miss Kamuzui, I love the ramen. It's a palette cleanser. And then the Karate Survivor, Karate Survivor reincarnating in the world. And then up here is more, some more manga. We have Yotsuba, another palette cleanser uh, that I just, you know, I need to get more of those. I enjoy this. I, I never get tired of rereading it, actually. That's the cool thing. I can read volume one and then read it again. It's just so cool. It's so cool. Arsalan, the hero legend of Arsalan. One through four here. One through four today. Uh, a little bit behind on that one, too. And then we have most, uh, My Hero Academia Vigilantes 1 through 11. This is a little makeshift, uh, makeshift shelf that I made. I know, it's not even a part of the shelf. And I just kind of create a little bit more space. But you have uh, After the Rain 1 through 5, and this is complete. And I enjoyed the story of Tachibana, you know, who uh, had an injury. Can't run no more, and she's working at a store. And she's just working out through her adolescence and trying to figure out life as she transitions into adulthood. And here is another one, a doozy. We have Dead Mount Death Play. Oh, kind of cool. I love this one. It's a isekai, uh, reverse isekai. It's super cool. Laid back camp. I like the design and the art in this one. This, that's the reason why I collect this. I just like the design. Oh, it's like so, so chill and laid back. Hence the title. Laid back. One through four here. Then another one through four complete. Uh, Living Stone. I read the first one. I was intrigued by the kind of like the, the concept of it. I went through four here of a tri gun. I don't think I'm gonna get more of these because they are auto print and they're selling them for ridiculous prices. This is the tri gun that's complete. Bash, the stampede. Some giants, some giants. We have, you know, you know, you know, the beast. The I say more, Vinland Saga, one through 12. And then there's the message to Adolf here, back there. Like I said, I kind of made it makeshift, you know, little things. Kind of created that just to house more manga in here. Magi, just look at that. Brace yourself, pace yourself, and then we have uh, up to about 1 through 37, it's complete. And then we have some hidden gems down here, we got Emanon, the art in there, super cool. This this right here, just, just new favorites, just like all this. Uh, and then Wandering Island, that's Wandering Island. That speaks for itself, okay? Man, love it. Uh, Ikigami, the ultimate. Uh, limit uh, 1 through 10 complete. I'm starting to just dive into this. Yeah, I haven't even taken some of them out of the wrapper. This is also another complete series. Next to it is a Happiness 1 through 10. Uzo Oshimi does not disappoint. Zam 100 1 through 4. To get more. And then I'm kind of making my way into Made of the Abyss. Slowly collecting that at the moment. And right next to, you know, Mab uh, Magi, you have Norogami here 1 through 23. Uh, slowly coming out. 124 should come out soon. I hope they can finish the complete series soon and end it on a high note. And then you have um, uh, Moriarty 1 through 7. I actually forgot this shelf. <laughs> well, I it was it was at the bottom, but I moved it up. So you have a 
pun pun here, good night pun pun, by Inu Atano. And then our next section to that is also a dead dead demons da 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 destruction. Uh, I've been reading this. I think I got to like up to volume five, and then I'm I'm waiting. I I, I know it's gonna end soon. Right next to that is another series that I rave about all the time. Megas in the library. Uh, these come out slowly. Uh, probably like one volume a year. So volume six should probably be coming out in next year or something like that. And for me though, I actually love that 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 the time it takes. Uh, so there's more time spending it. The quality of the manga is going to be greater because of that. And then these other ones are just miscellaneous here. Uh, the first three volume of The Witch and the Beast, and then the first three volume of A Witch's Print and Press. A Witch's Print and Press is uh, kind of like an easy guy here, uh, where uh, the main character got whisked into another world, the, the girl she and she's trying to find her way back. So she's actually, she, uh, uh, she created her own corporation <laughs> to collect magic books. She wants to collect magic books because she wants to go, she wants to see if there is a spell that's going to take her back to you know, Earth. Okay, so the bottom row here houses uh, not only manga, but there's a few, you know, trade pie paperback uh, comics here. Notable ones are the, the Long Halloween and the Dark, the Doctor Street, great entry points into Batman, some, you know, all-star Batman here, and the Flash. Uh, I'm trying to get the, the the Daredevil by Frank Miller. The, this is the companion. I need another one. And then kind of some paperback that I, you know, enjoy. And here is a sad one. I am never going to find volume 14. I have to continue that fact. But I like Kataichi. Uh, back in the day, I kind of watched the anime and enjoyed it. So it's nostalgia here, really. Moving along, we have a Tagami Bachi 1 through 20, and it's complete. Also, here, I uh, read this when it came out in the Shonen Jump app back way back. So I'm trying to, trying to recapture that childhood memories. Down here is something uh, still that I find shown on Jump. Uh, kind of missing. I don't know what I'm missing. I'm missing volume uh, 15 there and 17, 18. I'm missing a few, quite a few, but I, I kind of just, I like this better. I like this better than what's being uh, currently printed at the moment. And then finally, I completed one of my wish lists, uh, 1 through 12, the whole thing of Death Note. Uh, I couldn't get volume 13 because it was uh, just uh, ridiculously priced when I got this at half price. Uh, but I don't really need it, so it's just uh, the how-to. And then you have the Death Note short stories on top of there, and then these are a few volume ones that I'm still, you know, I haven't gotten around to committing myself to them, some of them. Some of them I unhold, but I still kept. And then a volume one here of Dragon Ball. Eventually I'll get it. I read the whole series a long time ago. Yes, Prison School 1 through 14 complete absurdity. It's just gangster. Okay. Uh, this is crazy. I mean, it's a little bit actually and a little bit hairy, but then you know, it's comedic. Uh, you got Uncle from Another World one and two, trying to give that a try, and then you got Emmanuel and Daniel. I don't know what that is, but it's um, uh, I'm getting this because the the lady, the same person writes uh, Witch Hat, and that's one of my favorite series. Uh, here is again one through twelve complete. One of the first mangas that I read, and you know, I still enjoy it, still love it. The art in there is great. The story is cool. Uh, the first nine arcs are the first nine volumes are superb, and then kind of the the landing is a little bit shaky. You have uh, Inuyashiki. Finally, I got volume nine, and then ten was forever out of print or out of stock, and so I'm happy about that one. And we have uh, To Your Eternity. I read this whole thing up to about volume twelve, but um, since then I haven't. I don't have thirteen. I just got I found fourteen recently, so gotta get back into To Your Eternity. A little bit sad though, man. Too sad for my taste. And then uh, rounding this corner here, we have at the top here, uh, yeah, Berserk 1 through 10. Uh, yes, can't wait for your volume 11 to come out at the end of the month. Here, looking good. And then you have the Blade of Immortal, kind of the series that I'm double dipping in. I just like the way that looks. And Helsing, oh my goodness. I'm almost done reading this actually. Lord, it's so good. It's so good. 1 through 3 complete. Silent Voice, which I just recently got. And then you have Dune. Out of that, that edition looks that right that looks good and then uh, uh sandman absolutely behind that okay this is uh coming down to this shelf right here is dory doro one through 23 this is complete and uh you know my niece took this away from me she likes it so hers uh this one too a tokyo ghoul uh that's hers one through ten blue lock same thing she bought it for herself some of these series are belong to her not mine really uh, besides the Witch Hat Adelier, the rest are her, so Witch Hat Adelier, that's mine. Uh, but the Golden Kamui, 1 through 15, 
she loves it. And then this even, oh my, this one even more. Uh, welcome to ballroom. And then you have the case study of any cats. That's our heart series. Uh, up here, uh, Jujutsu belongs to my niece, and then that right there too. I don't know if her mom got here. Uh, my Hero Academia also, both things, she got it. And to the 26, missing more. Uh, she's infatuated with the Call of the Night at the moment, that's hers. Those two series in Barrage are kind of like the earlier series that are both super, both super, those two. And then at the bottom here, we have the Seven Deadly Sins, 1 through 16. Uh, Ajin 1 through 17 is complete. Uh, this one's I found some of these at the half price books. Found them, got, got them for a good deal. So one, two, three, one through sell, one through ten of uh, gangs. And then this story I enjoyed it, but can't wait for more. Some of these are just assortments, and then uh, JoJo's part two over there. And then this is the final shelf here. So coming from over there, that section. Actually, I forgot to mention the Akira box set. Obviously, Akira box set. We can't forget the Akira box set. And then this is uh, Grant Morrison's third volume of uh, Batman Run. I haven't taken it out of the wrap, and then there is a little bit of so killing the killing joke. What is it? The killing joke, yeah. They call it the killing joke there. Uh, and then kind of a little bit of gaming section here. Okay, so this section here is we have a little bit of a, a comic wall here thing going. We usually get this for like a dollar and stuff. It's just some nice. Um, Luke Skywalker here, looking dope. Uh, here is the comic section, kind of the omnibus that I have at the moment. Some of the omnibuses. Uh, this is Superman. It's run by the Man, the Man of Steel by uh, John Brain. Yeah, John. He's run. And then there's a Superman omnibus. This is the New 52 by Peter J. Tomasi. Also by Peter J. Tomasi, Super Sons. Batman, Scott Schneider. I gotta get the second one. Oh my goodness. And then another, these two are the first two of Batman, uh, Grant Morrison's one. There's the JLA, about the Tower of Babel, Watchmen, kind of, that is kind of, another new 52 for the witch, uh, Wonder Woman. I gotta get the second volume of Preacher, and the second volume of Blue Surfer, the Flash, Omni uh, Omnibus, another 52, new 52, and then the, the Flash one, Paradox. High School of the Dead, eh, kind of looking good. <laughs> <laughs> seeing the anime and it's just too much too the absurdity is beyond me and then we have here some light novel section here we have the re-zero one through ten i kind of get got rid of some some light novels that i wasn't enjoying as much this and these i'm enjoying kind of this is like a, at the mo at the moment i think i'm about in ten uh, the story from one through six were just the story of one through six uh, up to volume six it was just going great and then uh, seven and eight i mean it kind of slows down I don't know, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting more. More volumes are coming up. I, th I think volume 13 and 14 just came out. Uh, so up to 14 at the moment. Uh, we can't wait. This is uh, Tanya the Evil. Tanya the Saga of the Evil. And then there's the Legend of the Hero, the Galactic Heroes. The same writer for the Heroic Legend of Arsenal. Uh, Overlord. I need to get more of these. And then there is. This is one of the ones that I'm reading more. Uh -huh. Is that wrong to pick up Girls in a Dungeon? All right, volume 9 at the moment. Reading that. There's the side story. Then there's Buddha. And another Otome game, kind of like uh, some, another Isekai thing. And then at the bottom here, there's Musoku Tensei. I gotta get more of those. I kind of stopped at volume 7, about what I'm reading, but I need to get back into that. And then here is Ascendance of a Bookworm. I'm currently kind of caught up with what I have. I just need to get more to read more. And also here is some Lone Wolf and Cub. Kind of get these and uh, the Samurai, Samurai Executioner. Yeah, as long as I find them for below retail, I'll get it. Uh, and this right here is the Bakamanagatsu series. Man, the art is great in there. And then there's a single volume of Vegabon before I got the Vizbix. And then here is uh, uh, the Flowers of Evil. Originally, I wanted to collect this, but I couldn't find 10 and 11, so I read that. And then there's, you know, some other stuff. And below that is just some fantasy and some other stuff that I usually collect here and there. Cable here and new, new stuff. So that's come on about it for what I got.